Please, don't look at me. I brought my own paring knife. Now I just need some ingredients, and I'm gonna make something really good, I promise. Well, are we ready for the road once more? So, we have a uh, shape changer at our camp. Hmm. Good luck finding her. You could watch out for anyone acting strangely, but, well, you know the lunatics we camp with. An imposter in our ranks. If this is true, it could be anyone. You, me, well, not me, I know who I am. Perhaps we shouldn't take Gortash's word for granted. But if he speaks the truth, we need to be careful. Orin could have eyes and ears on us right now. It's certainly good to be back at camp. How I've missed the smells. Indeed. And I'm sure Dringo will do a great job. He always took good care of me. A shapeshifter infiltrating our number. Like a cuckoo creeping into the nest. Hmm. A dire threat, if Gortash indeed spoke the truth. Gortash is to be believed, and even our camp isn't safe from Orin's influence. You might want to confirm the veracity of his claim, or at least clean up the mess. Your parasite binds your mind to Wills. Your memories of talking with Ravenguard become his. You spoke with my father. Incredible. To hear his voice speak those words like a stranger wrapped in his flesh. I won't let the Absolute keep him. This is my pledge. Yes, and at a great cost, partial ceremorphosis. I'm not about to make such a sacrifice. Not now, not ever. Thank you. How did you? Oh, it's you. I must have let my mind wander. Enough for you to wander in. Forgive me. I am drained. Ever since you killed Ketherick and took his netherstone, the Chosen's control of the brain has been brittle. Its rebellion against Orin and Gortash has been fierce even as it executes their final orders. Once those orders are complete, there is a good chance it will break free. You feel the Emperor's fear as if it were your own. An Elder Brain enslaved is one thing. An Elder Brain unleashed will be the end of everything. Beautiful, isn't it? The mighty Prince Orpheus, contained in submissive slumber. Come. You may as well sit a while, now that you are here. Your company isn't unwelcome. An accurate summary. I have found myself distracted of late. I'm haunted by memories. They are relentless. I can think of nothing. No one else. Not love, no. 
What I had with Belen Stelmain was much more than that. It was unique, at least when she was alive. You thought you were my first ally. Far from it. I have long sought the allyship of others. It is the only way to succeed. Though my relationship with Berlin was different from my relationship with you. In a way, but not the way you're thinking of. In life, she was my business partner. Back when we ran the Knights of the Shield. A difficult task for a Mind Flayer. Duke Stelmain trusted me, and the city trusted her. I concede the plot, but Berlin took center stage. It was she who met with the merchants, politicians, and patriarchs. It was she who negotiated deals and signed off on agreements. Her rooms played host to the most important conversations in the city. Together, we brought order to chaos. At its height, everything that happened in that city went through the shield. Through us. I could not have done any of it without her. Just as I cannot do any of this without you. But now, she is gone. And yet, you hurt them. You think that Mind Flayers are soulless husks who feel nothing. Berlin thought the same at first. You are wrong. Feeling is vital to the pursuit of anyone's goals. Even a Mind Flayers. Like you, Mind Flayers no fear. Like you, we crave recognition. But unlike you, unlike the others of my kind, I am no slave to either. My end is and always has been freedom. Berlin understood this. Berlin became my freedom. I won't, but I could do with your assistance. You remain attached to your physical form. I suggest you shed that attachment. We will do better against the Elder Brain, the more illithid we both are. Another quake. The Brain is rebelling again. I need to focus. Sweet mug. Have a skeg at these. Oh, 
flies before me. What do you reckon, lad? You trust these steel watcher thing me jigs? Oi, I'll second that. It's all right where well, we can get work repairing them, but what happens when they build something else to do that? Ah, uh, it's no good, I tell you. It is our chance to start over, and I will gladly do so. One more mark, then we can go. said we have enough. The Black Mass is ready to begin. It's not for the Master. It's for me. I want a beating heart there, ready for me when the Mass is complete, and we're finally granted our freedom. After 200 years of rats, I think we deserve a real drink. There is no time. We are expected back at the palace. Relax. The Black Mass won't start until Master drags Astarian from whatever hole he's hiding in. We have time to find one more person. <laughs> well, hello, beautiful. Aren't you a sight to behold? You must excuse my brother. He forgets that we have a very pressing engagement. You must excuse my sister, she's a terrible bore. But you look like someone who enjoys a party. There's a celebration being held in the palace of Kazador Tsar. Why not join us? Well, thank goodness we're such good friends then. This is not the time, Petras. Oh, yes, dear sister, I know we have places to be. We'll leave once our good friends here have departed. I look forward to seeing you at the palace, though. It'll be a once-in-a-lifetime experience. I promise. What's the plans to expand? A vampire spawn turned into mist. Didn't know they could do that. I'm listening. Lovely fighting! Look at that! If you have gold, we have everything you crave. Just have such a headache. A weary traveler, battered and bruised, you come for sustenance. No, decadence. A mien cool as ice, yet eyes burning hot. Oh, yes, I know your bliss. A sturdy dwarf, a leather whip, she gives, you receive. Or oh, have I misjudged you? Of course you wouldn't. Who can resist the pleasure of the strap? Once leather meets flesh. It's Fion you seek, our stern librarian. She isn't here today, alas. Your penance must wait. Well, we've other ways to fill your void. A drink for one, a pair of drow for another. Choose your sin. Twins, yes. Hands of such skill they could turn stone to silk. Your body could suffer no knot they can't untangle. They're through the curtain to the right. You'll need coin and stamina in abundance to enjoy their services, but the gold will be as well spent as you are. Nisha, our lovely nymph. She's engaged in the nymph's grotto on the top floor, sweeting. 
The client's a favorite of hers, too. I doubt you'll be able to tear her away. But we are blessed to have a devil in residence at the moment. A temporary guest. But he asked that I send any potential clients his way. Everyone who's paid a visit looks quite changed by the experience. Indeed he did. Raphael. Exceedingly handsome, and with a voice that could make the foulest blasphemy seem the sweetest hymn. Swishing. I'm no fortune teller. If I had a crystal ball, I promise I'd already have consulted it. Truth is, Fionn's gone well missing. And my hands may be skillful, but they were not made to turn every last stone she might be hiding behind. To service is my calling, not to be served. Ugh. But I'd be a fool to say no. The girl kept my coffers near overflowing. Two flights up, then turn right and right again. That's Fionn's pleasure room, Elminster's library. Here, take the key. I'm listening. Your pleasure is mine, sweeting. Rumpage. <laughs> You're looking parched, sweetheart. Another tankard? Oh, Stalin. Another sip and I'm like to spill over. But like other anchoring for spicier flavours. How about you give me a taste? Right as falling rain. What's it to you, chuffer? Don't worry your pretty head about the fist, love. I can play them all like a lute. I needs the manip on my ass. See you around, doll. Keep that fire stoked for me. Damn it all, that guy's loaded. You just chased off a full coffer of tips. But I've still got one tip left, just for you. Don't stand between a gal and her gold mine. be rid of that Yeah, no. Isn't it? Two men bark softly to each other. A single name reaches your ears. Nine Fingers. It's a name you know. Nine Fingers is the head of the guild, a criminal organization operating inside Baldur's Gate. Seems everyone's got business with her. Heard the gal met her match. The new kingpin? All meat and muscle, that one. And wild as a werebear. If he's looking to house nine fingers, my blade's got his back. Sounds messy as the ninth hell. Must be why she called us to help. Is that right? The way I heard it, you Zent cut a deal with the new... Hold on. Hey! You still lurking about? I don't remember inviting you to the party. Nine fingers won't be happy about Zenovia, and I'm not about to tell her. Hmm. 
Better you than me. Now listen, I'll only say this once. Lower City, Basilisk Gate, Guildhall. And that's all you're getting from me. Now scram! The chat's officially closed. Not that type of service down here, love. I've got a husband. And you ain't my type. Thank the gods. I've had too many miscreants think my kitchen's just another themed playroom. I suppose, if you're willing to pay for it. Now get out from under my feet, would you? I don't understand why there's such a type. Now, that there's a face I'd remember if I'd seen it. Welcome to Charesse's Caress. What can Hoots do for you, stranger? You got a taste for ale, I reckon. Or maybe... Ah, forget it. My new brew could drop you in the wink of a spectator's eye. Charesse Caress, the Mamsel's brainchild. Wet your tongue, soak your skin, scratch your itch. Get the attention you want, and avoid the attention you don't. Don't know about that, chum. Hoots Hooch packs a stronger wallop than all ten of my knuckles. Could beef you up, sharpen your tongue, or knock you out cold. No telling till the first drop hits your gullet. The man knows what he wants. First one's on the house. So, don't come bawling to me if your big toes fall off or your tongue coils in a knot. Have a look. Sorry. Damn, Hoots. That new batch burns stronger than a pit fiend's fist. I'll take that as a compliment. Take it however you want. But I'll be having my usual from now on. Something's off about this one. On your guard. Oh! It's Raphael's favorite misadventurer. Good to see you again. Even if you have put me out of pocket. The boss bet me five soul coins you'd reach the city in one piece. He rented a room upstairs in the hope that you'd drop by. Ah, oh, I forget we've never met. I've had my eyes and ears on you so long we feel like old friends. Carilla is my name. I'm Raphael's assistant, shall we say. Take your time, have a drink, sample the goods. Go see him when you're feeling refreshed. Lovely. Go see Raphael. Then I might let you buy me a drink. Ugh, I hate this place. I don't understand why there's such a time. So I mean, to try. My, my. I can tell you are a special one from a single glance. You have but to ask, and we can grant you a moment of pleasure. Don't be shy. I used to work as a courtesan back home, and my sister as an artisanal masseuse. But men are treated like dogs by the Underdark's matriarchs, so we fled. We found surfaces craved the body of a drow like a drug. Life is easy in our line of work. Perhaps, once we have saved more gold, another adventure will begin. We've had busier days, but 
Life is comfortable here with Mamza. I'd have to restrain myself far more than any play bindings do if I worked in another field. This is a place where I can be myself boundlessly. There are so many who come to me speaking of a fixation that no one else has ever been able to share with them. And never will again. A once-in-a-lifetime moment of passion. Every day. What could be better? Don't you want to try it? Trust me, you don't want to miss my signature Mezoberanzan love trick. And is that your partner with you? What a gorgeous couple. Perhaps we could come to an agreement. We want both of you, silly, at the same time. A brother and a sister at the same time. Yeah, no, you do your thing, but that's not mine. Upset? I guess not, as long as everyone's, uh, you know, above board. I get the appeal in theory, but the reality makes me want to take a lie bath. A shame. But either one of us will be ready for you, if you wish to have us. God. There are scant few customers today. This might end up being the first day of years as I end with my hand alone for company. I wish I could keep you scaring your regulars I need to try. I barely got a moment's sleep last night. And no, not in a good way. Was that a human boy insisting on playing his acoustic lute version of High House of Wonders? Ugh, I hate lute boys. I don't understand why they're such a type for so many. You keep scaring your regulars off, Zorn. That blacksmith was paying me to use the clamping vice. One chicken wing. to keep one another safe. When the music stops, you and I, we will continue dancing. Guild? Yeah. A blast straight to the heart of I hate loot boys. I don't understand why they're such a type for so many. Much better to me. Playing. You keep scaring your regulars off, Zorn. she can win. That blacksmith was paying me to use the clamping vice. The cucumbers have been taken.
Ugh, I hate loot boys. I don't understand why they're such a type for so many. Be rid of that throat. Isn't right. Not his leash. Play. Oh, I don't think this kind of stuff should give a cow. Sorry. Be real careful. We are not in trouble, sister. Remember our vow to keep one another safe. When the music stops, you and I, we will continue dancing. Sorry. Ugh, I hate loot boys. I don't understand why they're such a type for so many. That was wild. I can't have my wish to be rid of that throat. No, no. Isn't right. Yes, I am on his leash. Smith was paying me to use the clamping device. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, I'll tell you that. Yeah, right, yeah, yeah, you got that right. Oh, yeah. The guild? We are not in trouble, sister. Remember our vow to keep one another safe. When the music stops, you and I, we will continue dancing. Oh, sorry. You can stare as much as you like. I don't understand. We can dance if you want to. A blast straight to the heart was that one. Couldn't get us off your mind, could you? Ah, you're lucky, sister. Have fun, soldier. Leave something left for me later, hey? If your beloved one wants to join, we could work out something to our mutual satisfaction. Two of us, two of you, four gorgeous people. <laughs> Whatever you wish. But with another pair is the only way we will both be happy to join you. Couldn't get us off your mind, could you? Ah, you're lucky, sister. You're welcome if you have the coin. This way. We have a room upstairs over yonder side. What path lies before me? I wish I could kiss you better. I mean, to try. This way. Gum. <laughs> Gum. Any 
serve any. Look, you didn't sign a treaty permitting you to. Someday I will sit down. I I'd mean much it. Prefer it. Yeah. yeah. What to do? You came. I'm so pleased. You can never tell who's going to get cold feet. So, now that you're here, what next? An experience no one else here will give you. A chance to be embraced in the dark. But what that means is up to you. So, what can I do for you? A tender touch? Some sensory stimulation? <laughs> Just because I'm a drow, you think I've got a whip between my legs and a stiletto wedged between my breasts? As I'm relatively new to this business, unlike my brother, I'm not comfortable letting my clients go too far. Then, let's begin. In the darkness, you can feel hands moving over your body. Touching, squeezing, caressing. Your body is such a treat. I'm so glad you chose to share it with me. So glad we have this time together. Her hands slip under your clothes, running down your chest, your stomach, between your legs. You lie back and feel her lips on your skin, leaving a trail of gentle kisses as her hand pushes further. Wow. Someone's enjoying themselves. She pulls you close, close enough that you can feel your hearts pounding against each other, and kisses you deeply. You're not sure how long your time together lasted, but it was long enough. By the end, you felt like you were floating in the dark, utterly at peace. That was wonderful. Perhaps you'll enjoy a drink in the bar before you brave the streets again. <sighs> Even in the best of times, it's an oasis of pleasure and calm. In the city's chaos, with Baldur's Gate preparing for war, the caress feels like the final flicker of a beautiful flame before darkness falls. That was wonderful. Can't slow down. You try. Get your own Play. Another case closed, another bottle open! Huzzah to Valeria! <laughs> Hang on a tick. I recognize that face. You were talking to Yanis after I left the temple. I'll bet she's put you up to something. Why must you busybodies insist on interrupting a perfectly good night? Ugh, I know that look. You remind me of Devella. Fine! If you doubt my conclusions, out with it. What have you found?
my assistant. She's posted in the lower city investigating Duke Stelmane's murder. Now, back to it. What have you found? That doesn't make sense. Why would this dwarf kill Father Lorgan? I need something more than vague allegations. Look, I appreciate the amateur investigator act. It's oddly flattering, with emphasis on the odd. But without hard evidence and an alternate motive, I consider this case closed. I presume you've found something interesting to discuss, if you're interrupting me again? While that is startling, it still doesn't disprove my theory that Brilgore killed Father Lorgan, does it? I need proof. Hard proof. A motive, too. Otherwise, I'm afraid the case remains closed. New guy. Trouble. Listen, sweetheart, I'm sure you meant well. You want to help? Open your coin purse. Start with hoots if your whistle needs wetting. You want extra attention? Try Mamzella Mira. 